December 21st, 1906. Bright and early this morning, we went into the laboratory not before the science fellows arrived. I could feel every cool male eye on me. Mr. Soper took a typhoid sample from the icebox and swabbed it on a slide and slipped it into, the fr into a free scope. Once I looked into the microscope, my idea about cells and bacteria transformed. In my mind, they had always been in er as inert as drawings. Here, they come alive, like tiny worms, dozens of them. Before me, these restless creatures wriggled their way around the slide. They were nearly see-through, as if they were made of water. They danced and moved just like a crowd in the street, gathering and separating their own way, in their own way, like little noodles that one might swallow so easily without knowing. I felt as if I were seeing the river's floor, or another country, places off limits to me. It astonished and amazed me that those minuscule bacteria had the force to kill a person. My eye to the microscope made me want to see more, to see deeper into the world. I want to see a nerve cell, a sample of blood, a leaf of a plant, my fingernail, a piece of hair. I want to take the instrument home and slide the world under my lens to examine it in a way that I never have before.